nuns that lived in this house, and then they worked at the local Catholic church, and uh, for a number of years. And and so then after that, it was uh, I believe a Victory Outreach used it for a while. But then there was a gentleman named Stephen Sperber who purchased the house. And uh, I got a phone call a little over a year ago from Mr. Sperber, and he said to me, Hey, Ken, I got something that might interest you. I said, What is it? He said, It's a 12 bedroom, six bath house. And he tells me the whole story of it. And he said, uh, You know, I paid 620000 I owe 310 He says, If you can get a loan on it, just take it over. Uh, and, you know, and it, it's yours. And so, how many of you know not everything that's offered is a gift? Uh, it could have been on a toxic dump for all I know. I didn't know. So I came and I walked through it. And, and as I walked from room to room, I thought, my goodness, this is incredible. This would give a fresh start, a new beginning for homeless moms and kids. And I said, we're very interested. So first of all, I would like Steven Sperber to raise your hand. He's standing right back here. Steven, thank you. And, uh, and Steven... Uh, he introduced me to David Cruz. Uh, David's right next to Stephen, and, and David said, "Okay, let's make this thing happen." And so, a lot of work to kind of, you know, get this house ready to get started. But then I had to take it to our board of directors, and our board of directors, you know, after walking through it, they said, "You know what? This will be an incredible, incredible opportunity for moms and kids." And we're, you know, at Hope of the Valley, we're about hope, hot meals, housing, health services, and healing, and whatever we can do to help the hungry, homeless, and hurting of the San Fernando Valley. You might say, "Ken, that's a lot of H's." I know, uh, it is. <laughs> But it helps me remember the words. Uh, and so I'm going to ask our board members to raise your hand. I see we got Steve here, we got Chuck here, okay, Will back here, and we got Pastor Jim, Toad, Jim. And we have a very diverse group of board of directors who work very diligently to provide and expand homeless services to those in need in the valley. And so the board said, we'll do it. And I had a board member who said, listen, I'll go ahead and give you uh, a loan on that $310,000 so we can get this project going. And so uh, he stepped up and, uh, and thus we got the uh, the property. Well, then I was like, well, how are we going to renovate this thing? Because we didn't you know, have the money to renovate it. And so uh, Al Lee, I don't know if Al Lee's here, but Al Lee... Al, hey, there's Al right there, Al. Uh, within our homes, he, you know, he said, have you ever talked to Jenny? I said, who's Jenny? And he said, she's the head of Homemade. And he tells me the whole story of what Homemade does. And she used to be the purchasing agent for Lenar Homes. And so anyhow, I called Jenny and Jenny said, well, let me come look at the project. And we came and we walked through and she was, you know, I think we could do something pretty good here. And uh, and so then she kind of talked a lot of home builders and then California home builders uh, stepped up and said, you know what, we will be the builders on this project. And they came in here and literally gutted it. Uh, I mean, we've got the, uh, um, uh, from the architectural plans to the electrical to the HVAC, new doors, new windows, new flooring. This is a brand new house. And so I want to give it up for Homemade and for California Home Builders. Now, then we came in and, uh, and we, we built the house. Um, and so before I go too much further, there's a uh, um, we want to honor some of those people. So I'm going to ask a representative from California Home Builders to come up here. Who would like to receive this plaque? 